first at five, we have some breaking news to tell you about a deadly fire at a condominium complex plagued with problems over the years is now being investigated as a possible homicide, according to DeKalb County Police. And two people were found dead at the Brandon Hill condos after a fire broke out. And right now, investigators are still trying to figure out how exactly this fire started. Thanks so much for being with us this evening. I'm Faith Jesse and I'm Jennifer Bellamy. 11 Alive's Brittany Kleinpeter spent the day at that scene as she has the very latest details for us tonight. A fire department spokesperson tells me the fire was contained to one unit in this building right here behind us. He says when crews arrived around 9 a.m. the fire was mostly out, but they found two charred bodies inside. Uh, found smoke on the first floor of one of the uh, of the building in a particular unit. Uh, crews then forced entry inside that unit. Uh, both of the victims were in the bedroom. Tonight, investigators are still working to identify the two people who died. A resident who didn't want to show her face said she called 911 around 8 this morning after smelling gas. I was trying to ignore it because even when I was closing the door, you could smell it. Even the patio screen was open and you could still smell it. I was like, no, bump it. Like, let me just call them because something's not right. She says an older man and a middle aged man and woman live in the unit that caught fire. At this point, investigators haven't ruled out foul play. Dozens of residents stood outside the building for hours today as crime scene detectives and officials investigated the scene. I go everybody's door, everybody's room to say everybody got to get out. So that was it. Right now, the fire department says they are still working to determine if the victims died in the fire or another way. Today's fire is the latest in a string of tragedies at this complex. In February, a pregnant woman was shot and killed in front of one of the units. It's upsetting, but at the same time, it's nothing new in this community. You know what I mean? Not to say it like that. We see things every day. We know things every day. We hear things every day. And, you know, no one really tries to help. Coming up on 11 Alive News at 6, we're taking a look at safety concerns surrounding this complex. In DeKalb County, Brittany Kleinpeter, 11 Alive News.